It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Yeah. Roj dos. Roj. Giving our mouth a workout. Hey guys, I'm Abby Sharp. Welcome to Abby's Kitchen. And I'm here with my friend Nikki from HealthNet Nutrition. Hi guys. So the holidays are officially here. It's 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 happening, folks. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of us have tons of family traditions when it comes to food at the holidays. And a lot of them are super heavy, super rich, leave you with a total carb coma, and it's delicious, but I think we can lighten some of those family favorites oh, up. Sure. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. So we've got two awesome recipes to share with you. Nikki, what are you making? I'm making my grandmother's rice pudding recipe straight from Portugal, which I healthified just a little bit. So good. And I'm gonna be doing a stuffing. And we know stuffing is traditionally like basically just carbs and fat. Uh, but mine is lower in fat, higher in protein, and has lots of veggie snuck in mm -hmm. there. Okay, so Nikki, we're gonna start off this holiday healthy stuffing with some turkey sausage. So basically, if you wanna skip the turkey, you can you can do that if you just want, put it in right? Your just stuffing. put it in your stuffing, why Two not? Two in one. Two in one, and that's how I like to roll. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of heat if you wanna put some oil in the pan. I've got some sausage here. You can honestly use whatever kind of turkey sausage you want. Play with it. Whatever you can find at the, at the grocery store totally works. All right, so we're just browning off this sausage here. And I know, I don't know about you, Nikki, but I'm obsessed with stuffing. It's basically the reason for the holiday meal in my books. And I know, you know, when I was growing up, my mom accidentally put too much water in the pot when she went to put the stuffing mix in, and it totally resulted in a waterlogged, soggy stuffing. Mm -hmm. And I rushed to the kitchen, I was like, Mom, I can fix this. I have a, a Christmas miracle here. And that Christmas miracle was a loaf of bread that was pretty much st getting stale in the kitchen. I ripped it up, threw it in, and bam! I had saved A miracle Christmas. happened. A miracle. Christmas miracle. Christmas miracle, right there. Okay, so we're just gonna return the pan to the heat. Nikki, if you wanna grab those Brussels sprouts. I've been loving Brussels sprouts oh, recently. My favorite. Throw them in. in. Yeah, let's brown those bad boys. So here's a funny thing. I don't know how to spell Brussels sprouts because for some reason, it's, right? It always like, it shows always, up as it an error, like it yeah. wants an S at the it end wants of Brussels. An S. What is the truth? Can someone, yeah. for God's sakes, if Google doesn't know, who Maybe knows? Siri knows. Maybe Siri knows. We should ask Siri. We should ask Siri. Hey Siri, how do you spell Brussels sprouts? Brussels sprouts. Oh, there's an S. There's an S. There's an S. Oh yeah. Well, I gotta change my blog post because I made a Brussels sprout salad. All right, so next let's grab the celery and the mushrooms, garlic and the sage. Just gonna brown up everything else. And instantly, you smell the holidays. And now we get to assemble. So if you wanna grab the bread, mm -hmm. um, you can take some of the chicken stock. And we've got some eggs that I've beaten here. Just soak that puppy. Going really, for really a good. Swim bread. Going for a swim in the bread, the soggy bread. And the eggs as well. Perfect. So I've got our mushrooms going down. If you want to throw the pear in there. We've got our Brussels sprouts and our sausage. Oh yeah, some, some cranberries, some pecans. All and now, right. tell me why you decided this bowl would be the best choice for this recipe. <laughs> I make a lot of questionable choices, Nikki. That's something you'll have to just accept about me. <laughs> I, I, I thought it was, I thought it was gonna work. It's a little, ex this it's is a, a little big excessive. stuffing. This stuffing's gonna it's feed so your whole family. One hundred percent, or just me, maybe just me. So we've got our casserole dish. We'll just give it a little flatten down. Bad, Bad stuffing. stuffing. Bad, Bad stuffing. <laughs> awesome. All right, so this basically just goes into the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes or so, just until it's nice and browned on top and it's still kind of moist on the bottom because that's kind of how I like it. So, to the oven. And check that out. Oh, that smells amazing. So good. This has so much flavor. I love the Brussels sprouts. 
Mama Sharp would Mama be proud. Sharp. She knows. She, she knows. knows. She knows it's coming this she year. She does, she does. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this healthy take on holiday stuffing. Also, you're gonna wanna check out Nikki's channel over here. She has an amazing rice pudding that you definitely wanna put on the holiday table this year. So good. So good, so creamy. You guys are gonna love it. Yes. And if you like this video, be sure to give it the thumbs up. Leave me a comment below with some of your favorite family holiday recipes that you wanna put a little healthy spin on. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll do our own little take on them. And of course, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time on Abby's Kitchen. Bye, happy Bye holidays. Guys. So basically, it's got a nice thin casing. Oh yeah, it's kind of like a, a balloon animal. <laughs> what are you making me? <laughs> you, do you want a, a sword? I want a reindeer. A reindeer, that one's gonna be challenging. <laughs>